Good morning everyone, I'm Ken, Financial Analyst from Regain Capital and welcome to our morning market briefing on the 18th of November, Wednesday. So as usual in our market briefing, we will cover three parts, namely the fundamentals, the news release and the technical analysis. So without further ado, let's start off with the fundamentals. When we take a look at yesterday's market movement, we can see gold falling by 0.45%, the pair of euro US dollar inch higher by 0.07%, the index dollar rebounded by 0.21% and oil falling by 20, 0.21% as well. So let's get into further details with our headlines of today. First off, let's discuss on the gold where we can see that the metal is currently losing its safe haven advantage against the dollar. Now investor safe, pref, uh, safe haven preference is currently slowly shifting away from the yellow metal back into the world's reserve currency. Now this is due to uh, countries, especially across the Eurozone and the United States, continue to report record high number of COVID-19 cases, spiraling fear of further economic damage even before the vaccine's official release. Now, in the vaccine's terms, uh, with the recent positive updates boosting market risk appetite, investors are waiting for the next US stimulus before pricing in their bullish bets on gold. So on one side, we have the risk averse uh, investors where they, s they only see the increasing number of COVID-19 cases causing more damage to the economy, thus causing them to enter into a safe haven dollar rather than the gold. And on the other side, we have the vaccine news boosting optimistic uh, investors' risk appetite, causing them to enter into riskier assets, shifting away from the gold as well. So what the market needs or what the gold market needs right now is the further economic stimulus as we speak and also further uh, policy action or monetary policy loosening from central banks across the world in order to drive uh, the safe haven gold price back above the key handle of 1900. So instruments involved here would be gold itself. So moving on, let's discuss on the dollar. So the dollar index made a last minute rebound on late, during late Tuesday trading session following the dovish comments from the Federal Reserve which triggered a higher demand for the safe haven dollar. Now news on an effective vaccine was offset by the rising number of COVID-19 cases where this has actually caused the Federal Reserve outlook uh, to be slightly negative and causing Chairman Jerome Powell to signal a slowdown in the US economic recovery. So concerns towards further economic damage left pessimistic investors in a risk averse mode as they shift their portfolio from risky assets back into the dollar. So what is happening right now is something similar to what happened during the first outbreak where the rising number of cases and fear of economic damage has caused investors to seek shelter in the safe haven dollar rather than the gold and also causing them to leave risky assets such as the euro and the pound. So something similar is happening right now where although there is updates on the vaccine, however, until the vaccine is officially released into the market and is available worldwide, investors, some of the investors are still concerned that uh, there might be another economic damage uh, caused by the second wave or the third wave of the coronavirus. So instruments involved here would be dollar index itself. So moving on, let's take a look at the news release. So please take note, time stated here at GMT plus 8. So the first data would be at 6pm from the Euro where they'll be releasing the con uh, consumer price index. Although it is expected to remain same, however, do take note that the current CPI level for the Eurozone is in, in negative region, so it's in negative 0.3%. So any reading uh, below the forecasted value would actually uh, exit further pressure onto the Euro. And at 930 would be the core consumer price index from Canada where uh, previous month's reading was 0.1%, although it is also still low. However, with recent uh, uh, policy loosening done by the central bank and also stimulus offered by the government in Canada, we can expect consumer price index to slightly increase. However, if it is uh, giving a reading lower than the previous data, it means that overall economic activity on the, or the consumption activity is actually falling lower. And that would actually exert pressure onto the Canadian dollar. 
At 11 p.m. would be the central bank speech, the European central bank speech led by President Christine Lagarde. So from the speech, investors can actually obtain the latest outlook uh, towards the eurozone's economy, the the performance in it, and also to obtain signals on what further action that will is the European Central Bank will take in order to support the euro's economy. Lastly, at 11.30 would be the crude oil inventories report by the Energy Information Administration or the EIA. So overall, inventories level is still expected to increase by 1.6 million uh, throughout last week. However, it is uh, a lower reading compared to the previous weeks uh, of a 4.2 million barrels uh, build up. So any reading higher than the forecasted value would indicate that inventories level are increasing, thus signaling that the demand is not doing good for the oil market. So that would exert negative pressure onto the oil price. So that's all for the news release. Moving on, let's take a look at the technicals. So an overview of instruments to be covered. First off, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar and its H4 chart showing an uptrend. For the GPP US dollar, H4 chart also in an uptrend. For the pair of Euro JPY, H4 showing a downtrend. Whereas for gold and its H4 chart also showing a downtrend. So let's get into further details with the chart analysis starting with the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. So previously we have covered for this pair uh, where we constructed a Fibonacci from the previous high to its low and we have discussed on a resistance zone close to 0.9570 where it is also a resistance over here and also support back during September. So as the pair uh, tried or attempted to break above, however it has failed and left some shadow from the resistance level now trading back below signaling that the pair might not have sufficient bullish momentum in order to climb higher. So overall, in terms of MACD, it is also signaling a possible negative divergence signal where overall momentum is building lower over here. However, prices are climbing higher over here. So this negative divergence signal would, indicate, uh, would signal a possible technical correction uh, retracing from the higher level so aggressive investors or cautious investors as well are advised to consider short positions around the resistance zone near 0.9550 stop loss should be placed 30 pips from the resistance point at 0.9600 and a take profit first targeted at the 61.8 Fibonacci near 0.9500 and a second target would be at the 50.0 Fibonacci near 0.9450 However, do take note that if the pair managed to uh, break back above the resistance level, it would indicate that the, the bullish momentum is still strong and that a further upward momentum is, can be expected from the pair. So then, cautious investors can then consider entering into long positions with a stop loss and take profit of 30 pips and 60 pips respectively. Next for the pair of Euro JPY, now previously we have covered for a possible bullish flag formation for the pair where we can see that the prices are forming lower overall and also a pull from the previous uh, here. So overall it's showing still a bullish flag, however we did cover on a crucial support level where the breakout below this 1.2, uh, 1.2, 3.3 support level would be um, a confirmation that this might not be a bullish flag and that might the pair might be going into a, a short term short trend so overall it, we can see previously prices has fall from the resistance of 124.8 also breaking the resistance zone somewhere around 124 and it's now currently testing towards the 123.3 support level so after the breakout, further downward potential could be all the way towards 122.5. So overall, cautious investors are advised to wait for further confirmation whether or not the pair is able to break below the support level or would it continue being traded within the bullish flag formation and after that followed by a breakout of the key level near 124. So cautious investors are advised to wait for the breakout either from the 123.3 to enter into so short positions or above the 124 resistance to enter into long positions. 
Whereas for aggressive investors, MACD, so although showing a bearish momentum, however, we are still following on a bullish, possible bullish fact formation and investors, aggressive investors can consider the long positions at the current level, 1 to 3.4. Stop loss should be placed 30 pips from the level at 1 to 3.1 and a take profit targeted all the way towards the resistance zone at 1 to 4.0. Next for the pair of GPP US dollar. Now, uh, if you see here, we have constructed the Fibonacci from the previous high towards the low, and we have covered for a potential resistance level, uh, which is a, which is the resistance from the month of August and also support near one point three two six zero. And looking back, we can see that the pair has attempted to break above, however, failed to do so, and MACD now signaling a bias bearish uh, momentum. So overall, aggressive investors can take the opportunity to enter into short positions at the current level 1.3250, stop loss should be placed 30 pips from the level at 1.3280 and a take profit can be targeted all the way towards the 61.8 Fibonacci near 1.3180. Whereas for cautious investors, overall trend for the pair remains bullish. So do wait for the breakout above the resistance of 1.3260 before entering into long positions for the pair. After the breakout, a stop loss should be placed for the pips from the level at 1.3220 and a take profit all the way towards the 100.0 Fibonacci near 1.3470. Or a safer target would be the support close to here at 1.3310. Lastly, for gold in the H4 chart, now constructing the Fibonacci for gold would be taking the highest point over here, the shadow, connecting to the shadow. And we can see that overall gold trading has failed to climb back uh, higher towards the crucial psychological resistance at 1900. And it's currently testing back towards the 23.6 Fibonacci near 1877 7, at 1878. So MACD signaling a bias bearish momentum suggests gold to extend lower after successfully closing its candle below the 23.6 Fibonacci. Now cautious investors are advised to consider short positions after the breakout below the 23.6 where the first target could be set to its the previous low at 1868 which is 100 pips from the entry point or a longer term uh, target would be close to the 0.0 Fibonacci at 1850. However, if gold fails to break below the 23.6 Fibonacci, aggressive investors are advised to consider long positions. Stop loss should be placed 50 pips from the level and take profit of 100 pips. So that is all for our market briefing for today. Please remember to follow us on our social media such as Facebook, Telegram, Twitter as well as Instagram. And feel free to drop by our website at www.regaincapital.com to get updated on all the latest market news as well as education posts for our clients. So thank you all for listening. We'll see you next time on our market briefing and happy trading to all.